Everybody has their own preference when it comes to magazines used in their M4 AEGs. If you get something cheaper, sure they work, but for some reason they break as soon as you breathe on them. The more expensive magazines, they will last forever, but unfortunately they're as common as a four-leafed clover. From my personal experience with M4 AEGs, I find that GMP magazines sit right in the middle when it comes to price range and quality. However, this short and stout teapot look-alike magazine will be a little more expensive than most, only because it is a 1500 round high capacity auto winding electric drum magazine that works on the ever so common 9 volt battery. Unfortunately, you can't find these on the market yet, only because GMP gave them to me as a sample and asked me to review it. And it's not that like you need to ask me twice. So here we are at my second home, and since we are reviewing a GMP magazine, I thought it only appropriate to use it with a GMP M4 AEG, especially the Rapid Fireline, which is all about the higher rate of fire. I also need a reliable battery to push the M4 to its limits, which is why I have the RWA 11.1 volt LiPo battery, which will do the job perfectly. So as you can see behind me, there is no target. Oh, hey, it's the birthday boy! Hey, buddy, would you like some of my cake? Yeah, sure. Come on, get over here. You just gave me an idea. Quick, could you stand over there? We are just going to add to the fruit and black forest cake. Hold still, please. per second! And I think we've made a mess. Mm, what you say? Mm, that you only meant well. That was absolutely amazing, and I think we made quite a mess. We actually got the result we were hoping for. The magazine can catch up to an AG with a really high rate of fire. I do have a few problems though. First of all, the magazine is very big, very bulky. There are only very few pouches it'll fit in, or you could fit about two of these in a large dump pouch at the back. Secondly, the cable can be placed anywhere, say on the rail system or on the grip. But if you do strap it down, you're going to have to remove it before you reload, which will hinder your reload. So I would suggest leaving it on the magazine and holding it like so. You're going to have to press the switch down as you're pulling the trigger, which we're all used to if you use a flashlight or a laser. Apart from that, it is very easy to use. Still <laughs> full of BBs. If you're running around, it's going to sound like maracas. Changing the battery out, very simple. There is this cog at the front, turn it counterclockwise and remove the entire panel. In the bottom left corner, there is a slot for a nine volt battery held in with foam so it's not loose or about to disconnect. Right above it is the slot for the 1500 BBs. Make sure you release all the BBs before you open it up or else it's just gonna fall all over the place and that's another mess you're going to have to deal with. So what is it compatible with? So long as it's very similar to Tokimaru AGs, such as Aries, Deep Fire, the list goes on. But what it's not compatible with is the Tokimaru New Generation and the Sistema PTW series. Hold on a sec. I think I missed a spot. Quick. Right. So this magazine can fit most AEGs on the market. And if you're using an AEG with a really high rate of fire, say 30 BBs per second, 1500 rounds, that's 50 seconds of full on shooting. And it sounds terrifying. Speed softers will love this. No simmers, not so much. But since this isn't out yet, we can have a discussion in the comments section below. Guys, do let me know what you think. What can they improve on? And as you have this discussion, I'm going to Eat some cake. Mm. It's really good. Have a have a bite. You guys should try some of this. 
<laughs> it was amazing. Oh, oh. We're going to finish this off. See you guys on the next episode of Red Wolf TV. Porn stash in the cake.